Welcome to the channel where I review and give away products. I also do technical walkthroughs for some easy tech hacks that you can use in your daily life. This giveaway is where I'll be giving away this digital transport hat that attaches to a Raspberry Pi. It enables sending digital sound from the Raspberry Pi to a dedicated digital to analog converter or DAC. I'll be testing if the audio quality is better with a dedicated DAC and showing you how to set it up on common audio streaming software like PyCore Player, Volumio and Mood. I'll explain later in the video how you can win this. There are a few videos in the series. The first was an explanation of PyCore Player and a walkthrough of how to set it up. Link to that video is in the description if you want to follow it. Next was a giveaway. It was a review and how-to of the $15 PiFi DAC hat. That giveaway is still live as of recording, so I'll link it below in case you want to enter that giveaway. Now I'll review and give away the $15 PiFi digital transport hat. I wanted to do a video on a $15 power filter hat, but decided not to. Don't worry, I'm still giving it away as part of my last giveaway, which is still active and linked in the notes. Finally, I'll do a walkthrough of how to set up an audio streamer on, a, on an old mini PC and then give it away. So this is a clone of a more expensive Hi-Fi Berry Digi hat. This clone you can buy for about 15 US dollars on AliExpress. Hat stands for hardware attached on top and it goes on they go on top of Raspberry Pis. So a little bit about the audio. Some common lossless qualities are CD quality. CD quality was specifically determined to be 16 bit at 44,100 hertz because that is apparently far beyond what a human ear can hear. These days though with the rise of digital streaming there's a lot of HD quality which is normally considered to be 24 bit or higher and 48,000 hertz or higher. So this PiFi Digi Plus supports audio of 16 to 24 bit and up to 100 and 92,000 Hertz. It outputs via optical and coaxial and some specifications. So this DAC chip, the WM8804G is a, is a pretty commonly used DAC chip in these types of hats. I don't know what advanced shake reduction technology is. I think it might be a little bit of a translation error on the website. A little bit about what I'll be testing. Everything will be played through on my secondhand amp, which cost me about $50 and was made in the mid thousands. I'll run two tests. For test one, the first source will be a Raspberry Pi 3. Here audio is converted to an analog signal by the Raspberry Pi itself. It will be outputted via a 3.5 millimeter to RCA adapter cable and connected to my amp and speakers. In this case the digital analog converter or DAC of the Pi will be used. So I'll compare that to a Raspberry Pi with the PiFi Digi digital transport attached. Here the digital audio is sent over the, over the I2S interface to the PiFi Digi which then outputs it via optical or coaxial cable. These cables will feed into an external DAC. In my case, it's an SMSL SU1, which is quite a cheap DAC. The DAC will convert the audio from digital to analog format and output it via RCA to a traditional amplifier. During the test, I sync the audio between the two Pi's so that when switching sources on the amp, the listening experience was seamless. I also compared this setup in a second test. I compared it to a PiFi DAC hat from my last review. Here digital audio is sent via the I2S interface to the DAC hat. That hat then converts 
the digital audio to analog audio and outputs it to a traditional amplifier via an RCA cable. If you're looking for a direct comparison between the DAC hat and the headphone out, see my last video. Link is in the description. And as in the previous test, I make sure that I keep the two Pi's in sync so that the listening experience is seamless when switching between the sources on the amp. Now I'm not a professional, so you can make your own purchasing decisions based on uh, knowing that. A little bit about my room. It's not ideal. It has hardwood floors. There's not a whole lot to dampen the sound, just a couple of couches and a rug. Uh, I have the speakers two, we two meters apart and I sit two meters, about two meters in front of them. Comparing the Pi's headphone out to an external DAC using the Digi Plus. I experience an improved listening, listening experience. Soundstage is the perception of spatial positioning of instruments and voices. And with the Pi Fi Digi Plus and the external DAC, it was vastly improved. This was more noticeable with vocal, acoustic and rock music. When switching back to the headphone out as the source, the music just sounded flatter. Overall, a really noticeable difference. Personally, I would not buy the Pi Fi DAC hat, but I would invest the extra $95 in the Pi Fi Digi hat and the external DAC, especially if you listen to a lot of vocal and, acu and acoustic music. So the results of the second test, this was the Pi Fi DAC versus the Pi Fi Digi with the external DAC. Basically the same result except that I did notice that with vocal music, the bass was less overpowering using the external DAC. In my opinion, I would stick with the headphone out or get an external DAC and a Pi Fi Digi Plus, unless you have a Pi 4 or 5 which has no headphone out, and then perhaps I'd consider the cheaper DAC hat. Here we are with a fresh install of Pi Core Player. You can see here that Squeeze Light is not running and that's because we have no output device configured. If we go over to squeeze light settings here, we want to scroll down and select the Hi-Fi Berry Digi Pro and hit save. And now you're prompted to reboot, so reboot I don't know what the wrong date is, but the important thing is is that squeeze light is running. If we go here to the squeeze light settings, you can see here that the um, Hi-Fi Berry Digi Plus Pro is selected and the output setting has been pre-filled. If for whatever reason that isn't pre-filled, you can come over here and push more and then you can select any one of these options and that will pre-fill the output setting for you. And that's it. From here you should be able to output audio to your DAC. Now here's the written documentation on how to set it up with Pi Core Player. So here we are with a fresh install of Illumio. I assume that you've already set up for Lumio and you know how to set up your music sources. I'm only going to show you how to set up this Digi Plus transport. So let's get rid of the start wizard and head over to the menu in the top left. Head down to playback options and under audio output enable I2 I squared S DAC. And what you want to do is select Hi-Fi Berry Digi Plus Pro, hit save and it will ask you to restart which we will do. Okay here we are back. Um, let's, uh, let's close the settings and let's test just some uh, web radio. Maybe we can search for news. How about news max? No, I don't have my speakers hooked up, so you can't hear any audio. 
but it is it is outputting and I've tested this and now I will cut back to the documentation so you can also follow those instructions if that helps you can pause the video so here we are with a fresh install of mood I assume that you already know how to set that up or have watched a tutorial somewhere else I'm only going to show you how to set up the PiFi Digi Plus hat so let's get rid of this so head over here to the top right hand corner for the mood menu go to configure and then select audio now you'll see here that the Digi Plus hat is not listed as the output device we first have to tell mood about that so what we'll do here is configure it to be used as an output source and then we can select it as an output device so let's go down to this box here and scroll down to hi-fi digi plus and it will save that and it will tell us to restart the system so let's restart the system again we go to the mood menu power restart okay now let's go back up to the mood menu configure the audio now you see here that we still have the output device set to HDMI 1 so I'm going to now select the Hi-Fi Digi it will save that and the next thing you want to do is decide do you want to control the volume with the hardware or have a fixed volume sent to the DAC I'm going to use a fixed volume and that's it it's now set up and ready to use so let's just test it I don't have my speakers set up but we can test it now it won't throw an error so I'll play the left and right channel test and there you go you can see that playback is fine and here's the documentation on how to configure it with the mood streamer can pause the video and follow so how do you win watch the video from start to finish subscribe to the channel like the video and leave a comment I'll use a random comment selector and make a video announcing the winner I'll do that in three to four weeks or when I reach 200 su subscribers whichever comes first I'll verify the actual winner before sending it. Be careful, there are often scammers for these giveaways. I will never ask you for any money and I will pay for the postage. So if someone's asking you for money, it's a scam. Here are all the videos in the current series. Next I want to turn an old PC into an, auto, into an audio streamer and then give it away. After that, I'll review a product that can be used to charge your phone only to a certain percentage to protect the battery life of your phone. That will also be a giveaway. Thanks for watching and until next time.